everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get started. Problem, solve dy by dx plus y by x equals to y square x. Solution, given differential equation. dy by dx plus y by x equals to y square x. Consider the given equation as equation 1. Again, you can write this as dy by dx plus you can just write y by x as 1 by x into y equals to x into y square, right, which is in Bernoulli's form. We know that Bernoulli's equation is of the form dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants okay but known is the equation in y and x and also we have n here where n is a real number such that n is not equal to 0 and 1 so by comparing these two equations we can say that the given equation is in Bernoulli is in y form, right? And again, by comparing these two, we'll get p, q, and n. Where p equals to 1 by x, q equals to x, and equate y, y square with y power n, you'll get n equals to Right. So here P and Q are functions of X alone. It does not involve any other variable other than X. So we call it as functions of X alone. Right. And here you have N equals to 2. Right. Which is a real number. So we are given a Bernoulli's equation. Right. Fine. Now. We need to eliminate y square. Okay. We are going to reduce this given equation to linear form or linear equation in y form. Right. Now, compare the Bernoulli's equation with linear equation in y. Okay. So, here if you notice the RHS part, here P and Q are functions of x alone and in the RHS you have function of x alone or constant okay but here you're having x as your function of x in the place of q right and also we have one more term y square okay one more function i can say y square but here we have only functions of it can be a function of x alone or constant but we don't have other than x or constant right but what we have to do here is we'll eliminate y square from this Bernoulli's equation to reduce this to a linear equation. Okay, so how we can eliminate y square? Either we can multiply the equation on both sides with 1 by y square or just we can divide the whole equation with y square. Okay. Or simply take this y square to LHS, then you'll get 1 by y square times dy by dx plus 1 by x into y equals to x. Okay. Now let's multiply with 1 by y square on both sides. Or better, let's divide by y square on both sides. Then we'll get 
dy by dx plus 1 by x into y by y square equals to x y square by y square where y square gets cancelled from RHS and here 1 y gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into if 1 y gets cancelled you'll get 1 by y equals to x c I'll show it in clearly we are going to multiply sorry we are going to divide this equation with y square on both sides okay we'll get dy by dx by y square plus 1 by x into y by y square equals to here y square gets cancelled you'll get x then you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into y by y square equals to x the same thing okay you can just write directly like this fine now this is a reduced equation right consider it as equation 2 this is not reduced to linear equation form so what we'll do again we'll make a substitution we're having 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into 1 by y equals to x, right? Now, let 1 by y equals to some u. Now, differentiate on both sides with respect to x. minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. So, how we will get minus 1 by y square into dy by dx for the derivative of 1 by y with respect to x simply here we are going to use a chain rule. You know that du by See here, this is a function of y, right? But we need to differentiate with respect to x. But here we have a function of y, so we include dy in between. Okay, now find du by dy since you have u equals to 1 by y. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Then we'll get du by dy equals to derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Now replace du by dy by minus 1 by y square. Then you'll get du by dx equals to minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. The same thing. Okay, instead of doing this process, we'll just directly do this. Okay, it does not, you don't need these two steps here. You can just directly differentiate like this. Okay, simply we'll differentiate this with respect to y and we'll include dy by dx. Okay, then minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. Fine. 
Now equation 2 becomes. Okay. So in the first term you are having 1 by y square into dy by dx. Right. So you need to replace 1 by y square into dy by dx. Right. So what we will do is we will simply multiply on both sides with minus. Then we will get 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Now let's replace the first term and 1 by y. First term can be replaced by minus du by dx plus 1 by x and to replace 1 by y by u equals to x. See the quotient of du by dx must be 1 but we have that is positive but we have a negative sign. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply on both sides with minus then we'll get du by dx minus 1 by x into u equals to minus x. Okay. Which is linear in u. We know that the standard form of linear in u is du by dx plus p into u equals to q where p and q are functions of x alone or constant and integrating factor is e power integral p differential dx and the general solution will be u into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. So we have reduced the given equation to linear equation in u. Now what we'll do is we'll find the general solution to the given equation. So here the general solution of the reduced equation will be the general solution to the given equation. Okay. So before going to general solution. We'll identify P and Q. Now again compare these two equations. We get P equals to minus 1 by X. And Q equals to minus X. Here P and Q are functions of X alone. Right? Fine. Now let's find integrating factor. e power integral p dx this equals to e power integral for p equals to minus 1 by x into dx equals to e power minus integral 1 by x dx we know that integral 1 by x dx is log mod x again you can write this as e power minus log x equals to e power minus log x can be written as log x inverse right and we know that e power log some function of x can be written as function of x that is e power log function of x equals to function of x then we'll get e power log function of x reciprocal of x is reciprocal of x right since x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n x inverse in the sense reciprocal of x here so our integrating factor is 1 by x right now we need to find the general solution so using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation the general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor 1 by x equals to integral q for q equals to minus x into integrating factor 1 by x into dx plus c. Here x gets cancelled and you'll get minus integral dx plus c which is equal to minus integral dx is x plus c. So we have u into 1 by x equals to minus x plus c. Now replace u. Since u equals to 1 by y, 
then the above equation becomes 1 by y into 1 by x equals to minus x plus c x into y equals to minus x plus c which is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from Bernoulli's equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.